Right now, let's start with stage two of our tutorial. This is about how to set, do it, how to do the basic setup of a hybrido simulation. We will be creating the grid fluid container, setting up the emitters, adding some demons like gravity. So let's start. So first, we need a new grid fluid solver. This is by clicking on the grid fluid menu. This is this one here and we need a domain. So the grid fluid domain is virtually a three-dimensional dimen coordinate grid and in the units of the grid you can see by looking here at the um, little squares in the sides. This is one grid unit and this is the um, this is the minimum resolution that you have you'll be having in your in your fluid for example if you have a collision with an object um, this collision can not feature finer details than uh, the one you're seeing there uh, first we need to scale this uh, thing for scaling I press one on my keyboard then I have the top view pressing one gives you top view you also can do this by doing the my right mouse click view top um, I'll be selecting the grid fluid domain again and I have to scale this proportionally so that it will fit the um, the grid fluid domain Project that is bad. you can see what's doing here about all the and the um, parts of the domain. So if your computer is not the fastest one or you don't want to wait forever when doing a simulation, then you could probably um, do it a bit smaller. I'll be saving some space here too because uh, uh, well we will not be seeing this part with a camera so I don't need a fluid container for the parts that we do not see. And um, So, uh, this, this should do it, I think. And then um, we also need to make it a little bit bigger, I guess. A uh, bit smaller on the sides could do so. Also, uh, something like this. And um, then we press 2 on the keyboard. This gives us side view. You can also go there by right-clicking view side. And we'll have to scan it in Y sufficiently. I think something like well, 19 could do it. Move it a bit upward. Oh, that's fine. This is virtually our container. So, in opposition to RealFlow's standard particles that you can still access here, the standard emitters, uh, this fluid, the hybrido large scale fluid, will only be existing inside this box. It's not important, it's not possible that any fluid will escape from this box. This is uh, because there is a completely different algorithm underlying uh, the simulation engine and um, this is important to know. The other thing that's very important to know is that the algorithm that's underlying the grid fluid domain is uh, faster than the particle one. With the standard particles you could have great detail in the fluid. You could see very fine stuff, but very fine stuff, you have really nice motion, but uh, if you need high amounts of particles for simulating, for example, a scenery like this one, um, the simulation will take ages. Even it will, might 
take you days and um, we do not have days in most cases so here we do not need very much detail for the fluid that is crawling crawling along here you do not need much detail for um, some water that's uh, two meters under the sea ground we will have uh, different options for creating the details and for the simulation steps but um, considering detail the standard resolution when you're creating fluid like this is 100,000 uh, this is very low yes it is so um, what I did in my simulation is that I just entered a zero and then is this is one million and well one million is still very low if I was doing a job like this for production for example I was using 10 million or even 15 million you can see when you're using 15 million this uh, these squares here are becoming very little so there will be more detail in your fluid don't make the mistake M many people are making the mistakes because you'll be seeing uh, some marker particles illustrating you um, where there is fluid and where there is air in your container um, we do not have the particles we have the fluid this is just exi existing in the grid the particles are just a visual representation but um, it is not like the um, standard real flow particles so uh, we're using 1 million and you see there is a large difference but I think for testing um, the 1 million is alright or for testing if you're doing, doing your first simulations also 100,000 might be sufficient um, one other thing compressibility I'll be setting this to 1 also very important because um, we want our swells to um, to move fast and for anything that's moving fast um, put your compressibility to 1.0 um, I could give a scientific talk on all those parameters but um, I think it's not not the time yet to do so so this is a basic fluid container and uh, well now we have to fill it up and this is in the next step